Greetings users of the interweb, as promised, I'm bringing you a flip through of my September bullet journal setup. Though it is a bit later than anticipated, it is still within the week, so um, yeah. I would also like to say I'm not one of those people who's going to talk with my hands because you can't see my face, so that may be a bit weird or whatever, but without any further ado, I hand you off. So the first of my school prep... The first of my school spreads is this degree progress tracker. I decided to start this because I'm almost done with my required classes and I wanted to start planning out my electives. I'm looking into doing a double major where I end up with two degrees and also a double minor or potentially a triple minor. Next up, I have my school brain dump. This is mainly for school related things that I need, but probably won't need that often. So for example, so far I have my locker location and my printing information. Um, after the first couple days, I obviously will know where my locker is and I do have my own printer at home But it's bound to happen at some point where I run out of ink or am faced with some other emergency where I need to print something out at school On the following page, I have my class information um, Here I just write out the course code and name then I have the days time and location of the classes as well as the professor's information like email, phone numbers, office hours, and office location. Use a color coding system. I have orange and green and this is going to extend into all manners relating to that class. So behind here you can see I have orange and green notebooks with um, you know green paper clips and if I open this up, I have highlighted points with green highlighter and I will write in the notebook with green pen and so on. <laughs> After that, I have my budgeting page. I don't really use any nice charts or other sort of organizational structures to do my budgeting or anything like that. I find it a lot easier for me to just write everything out and um, so I would just include anything relating to a particular class so obviously there's tuition and textbooks but I would also include some extras like maybe uh, lab fees or supplemental materials like maybe a graphing calculator for example um, here I have my fall schedule, pretty standard stuff. Penciled in are the classes that I'm waitlisted on and part of the reason it took so long to get this video up is because I wasn't registered officially for any classes so I didn't just want to have a bunch of blank spreads to show you. And the last of my school pages is this September at a glance. I would normally do this going horizontally so that I have more space to write things in for each month, but um, I just wanted to be different, I guess. As you can see, I keep up with my color coding and with the orange and green, and then I have blue just for general school things that don't necessarily apply to a particular class. Finally, I have my September spread. It is fall themed and my um, bullet journal has been up until this point extremely minimalistic. So I don't know how I will carry um, this theme throughout the month or even if I will. Uh, um, next, I have an academic advising page for when I meet with my academic advisor. Um, meetings are normally, if I book it today, it won't be for like one or two months into the future. So I just like to have somewhere where I can write things down so that I don't forget anything between now and then. After that, I have my first weekly setup. Um, since school didn't start on a Monday, it's not a full two-page spread. 
this is sort of new. I like what I was trying to accomplish here, but the execution just didn't turn out the way I hoped. So I tried it again and here's the weekly spread for next week where I hopefully get to um, try out this system here. But what I tried to have was a row for my orange class and then a row for my green class and instead of a row for others I just um, carved out a small space for no reason at all other than to fill space I have a little monthly calendar here uh, with the designated week in a contrasting color I don't really plan out my entire month in advance because I like having some flexibility if, for example, I don't like this sort of box system, then I would rather be able to try something new next week than to force myself to use a system that just isn't working for a whole month. That brings us to the end for now. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you absolutely hated it and think I should never do YouTube again, then also leave that in the comments down below. But thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.